Hey everyone, it's Mari. I have another project today for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be using a bunch of products, including these Thin Circle Frames Honey Cut. I'm going to use the Safari Babies Stamps and Honey Cuts. Love this set so much, it's so sweet. And I'm also going to be using, I think my favorite six by six paper pad of all time. This is the Spring lullaby paper pad and it is so soft and pretty i love it and the twinkle twinkle background stencil is also going to be part of my process so let's get to it i'm starting off here with my mini misty and the giraffe stamps that's in the um in the stamp set this is actually one stamp it's connected where the two little giraffes join there and i'm just inking that up with my memento tuxedo black ink on some nina 80 pound white cardstock and i'm going to just stamp this out a couple of times to make sure that i've got a really nice uh, black line and nice and intense and i'm just showing you my color inspiration here for today for my project were these two papers from the spring lullaby set and i and I've also just pulled out a bunch of Copics that I think will um, go along with that color scheme. So I'm starting off here with my C0 and I'm just going to put that down all over my entire uh, giraffe. Then I'm going in with some C3 just to give a little bit of uh, dimension to my giraffe. Then I'm going back in with a C0 to blend that out. And now I'm going in with some blues to color in the little circles on my giraffe. So I'm going to use a B91, B93, and B95 on the circle. So this is not obviously a traditionally colored giraffe. I wanted this just to be really sweet and whimsical and cute. And just for the theme of the card, I thought this was a really cute idea and it does just go along so nicely with the colors in that uh, paper that I chose for my project. So I'm just going to show you coloring the the adult giraffe and then the baby giraffe will be colored in exactly the same way. So I just really love how this worked out when I was all finished and you can just see that I'm adding a little bit of dimension to those circles with a darker color of blue. Now I've got my um, drafts all colored. I'm going to use the honey cut, companion honey cut for those drafts. I'm going to run that through my big shot. I've just got some purple tape holding my die down onto my paper and I've got that all cut out and ready to go. Now I took the uh, thin circle frame honey cut and I cut it from a couple of different papers. I thought I might use dark gray and I thought I might use silver. Uh, sparkly silver glitter paper and so you can see all of the frames that you end up with there it's a huge number of frames and I just keep those in a little baggie um, in my uh, craft space in a certain spot um, so that when I uh, need a frame I can just go back and choose one of the ones that I've already got cut now I'm taking a pencil and I'm going to just trace around the outside edge of this silver glitter circle on my cloud paper. I'm trying to conserve as much of that paper as I can by having that circle down in the corner. I'm just going to go ahead then and finish tracing this all out and then I'm just going to take my cutter B scissors and I'm going to cut around the outside edge where my pencil line is, maybe even just a little bit on the inside of that pencil line. And then I'm going to glue that frame um, on top of that cloud paper. And that is going to provide a focal point for my little giraffes to um, be on, the, on my card front. So that was the idea that I was going for here. So you'll just see me taking my scissors. I'm just going to show you how I cut this out. Super, super easy process. Um, a really easy way to make sure that your circle frame is going to be the um, right size. Everything's going to line up properly with the paper. So I'll just finish cutting that out with my very sharp cutter B scissors and then I will adhere this glittery circle frame to the outside edge of that. So I just love how this looks. I think it's just really sweet and when it all gets put together here it just looks, I, I love it. I think it's a really cool idea and you can just see how the colors are just so soft and it is very much monochromatic other than the green paper that I'm going to be using for the little grass area. So I just went ahead and took some of the, this is also from the Spring Lullaby Paper Pad and I'm just tracing around the bottom edge of that circle 
I'm going to just trim that out again with my scissors and then I'm just going to take my scissors and kind of like cut a sort of like a wonky wavy line across the straight top there and I just wanted it to look like a little grassy hill that these little giraffes are standing on and then the clouds behind them so that it's like I said this is very whimsical it's not meant to be too super realistic um, just obviously meant to be just really fun and sweet and um, this definitely matches up with the theme of the card that I was going for here today so um, I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these parts placed and I will get them stuck down and adhered and ready to complete the rest of my card now I'm just making sure that everything is going to look the way that I want it to I'm just going to kind of roughly place things where I want them and now I'm ready to work on the rest of the card. So I've taken some dark gray cardstock from my stash and I'm taking some, this is actually some Nouveau Glimmer paste and it's the really pretty uh, silver and I'm just running that through the Twinkle Twinkle background stencil using a Nouveau um, spatula and I just love how this Glimmer paste is going to look on this gray cardstock with this stencil because the stencil is going to provide the really fine and detailed and delicate little stars for my background and it's just perfect for um, what I was going for the look I was going for here with this card so I'm just putting a fairly thin layer uh, through the stencil and then the reveal and oh that looks so pretty so I cut the gray cardstock down to five inches by five inches square and I'm going to adhere that to a five and a quarter by five and a quarter card base the card base is some 110 pound Nina cardstock and I'm just going to adhere that with some tape runner uh, sorry for that band-aid somewhere during this process when I was starting and finishing and starting and finishing with my recording I was also helping my son pack for his move and I cut my finger on some glass so anyway that's why I've got that band-aid on and now I'm just popping up that circle section of the card with some foam adhesive I just want to add a little bit of dimension to my card in that way so I pop that up and now I'm just going to add a little bit of foam um, adhesive to the back of my little giraffes as well just using some small and large squares and now I'm just going to adhere that down to the circle focal area there and I just love how this looks with a little grassy area and the little clouds and then those stars on that dark gray cardstock I think it's a perfect combo now this we're expecting sentiment on the safari babies um, stamp set I thought was just perfect for what I wanted this card to sort of possibly be for and I, I love this we're expecting sentiment for this card front and so I'm just taking that sentiment stamping it out onto my Nina cardstock with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I've just taken the Companion Honeycut there cut that out and now I'm taking my Nouveau Shimmer pen and adding some sparkle and shine to my adult and baby uh, uh, giraffe here and just going over that just lightly with a little bit of that shimmer and I really love that but I also wanted to add a little bit more shimmer and sparkle so I take my Stardust stickles and I'm just going to add those stickles to the little circles on the giraffes and I love how that looks when it's all finished it just makes them look so sparkly and shiny I did add a little bit of a pink highlight to the cheek of both the adult and the, the baby giraffe when I was um, coloring them and I added a little white highlight with my white gel pen as well to the little cheek areas and that's going to be my whole card for today I hope you enjoyed this um, I love the safari baby stamp set I think it's so cute and I had a lot of fun creating this card and honestly the spring lullaby paper pad is like I said probably my favorite of all time now I'm just going to add my sentiment with uh, some tiny little foam squares and add that onto my card front and my card is completely finished thank you so much for stopping by today I really appreciate it please make sure you check the description box below for the links to the products that I used today in the honeybee shop there's a link for the shop as well and um, 
I am also going to leave an end screen here that shows you the links to all of the social media for Honeybee Stamps, to the uh, Buzzworthy Facebook page where you can share the different projects that you create and uh, over on Instagram, etc., and all the social media. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Have an amazing day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.